history and folklore surrounding maternity. Fertility, pregnancy, and birth have evolved from an almost unrecognizable history surrounded by superstition and folklore. There were some birthing practices that, by today's standards, would seem odd. However, some of these forgotten means may have been more advantageous for both mother and child. In antiquity, during the actual birth, the mother would be moved to a birthing stool, which was basically a chair with a seat removed. This chair was equipped with handles for the mother to grip during contractions. The mother would be seated or would squat on two large bricks called birthing bricks. These birthing bricks were usually very ornate and thought to bring good luck. Herbs and other plants were used heavily in the delivery process. For example, a drink sprinkled with powdered pig dung was given to the mother to relieve labor pains. Fat from a hyena was burnt to fumigate the room in order to produce immediate delivery. In Great Britain, fathers-to-be used to stand by a door during labor with a wheel of cheese. The cheese was called a groaning cheese. This was cut in the center and served to guests coming to welcome the new child into the world. The child, once born, would then be passed through the hollowed out cheese wheel. Peasants in rural 17th century Russia had their own version of midwives. These midwives would have the laboring mother jump off benches in order to speed up the laboring process. They also were known to hang the mother from her feet and even force her to vomit if that wasn't strange enough, the povitikas would also shove a rag in the mother's rear end in order to make sure that the baby came out of the right hole. Infants in ancient Rome were not named until days after they were born due to a very high infant mortality rate. On the eighth or ninth day, a gathering would occur consisting of family and friends bearing gifts. Then there would be a sacrifice made and the child would be named and declared freeborn. The standard practice of childbirth in ancient Egypt has long been known from the papyrus texts. Women would deliver babies while squatting on two large bricks called birthing bricks. Each of these bricks were colorfully decorated with scenes that would invoke the magic of the gods for the health and happiness of mother and child. Birthing positions have changed greatly since ancient times. Women were known to give birth in standing, kneeling, or squatting positions rather than lying on their back in a hospital bed. The Romans had their own version of birthing chairs. These were birthing chairs with a U-shaped hole in the seats and supports for both the feet and the back. For most of human history, childbirth was one of the most dangerous things that a woman could undergo. Indeed, it still is for many women. Understandably, a lot of ancient civilizations had rituals, spells, and ceremonies to try to make every aspect of childbearing go more smoothly. In the ancient world, an expectant mother had some choices to induce labor. Some of these were drinking goose semen, sitting on a dog's placenta, or having four strong women shaking them intensely. And what about fertility tests? It was once thought by some cultures that if a woman sits on a mound of dirt soaked in old beer and rotting fruit, that she would only bear children if she threw up. In other cultures, it was said that you must step over one dead man and one living man in order to ensure easy delivery. So, a pregnant woman would be seen stepping over a grave of a dead man and then stepping over her husband while laying down in a cemetery. One particularly brutal method was to hit a woman on a part of her hip and, if it didn't hurt, she was thought to be infertile forever. Another odd way that it was thought to induce labor was to place honey soaked with hemp or a handful of ground corn into the vagina Another folklore is to not have any knots anywhere in the room. Any knots must be untied in order for a smooth delivery. If a woman was having a difficult delivery, some unsavory remedies would be to drink the liquid from the uterus of a weasel, 
drink a potion made with pig poop, or have the placenta of a dog placed in their thighs. For pregnant women in some places in Turkey, it was once thought that they should not look at bears, monkeys, or camels while pregnant. Pregnant women in Japan are urged to use positive thinking, imagery, and listen to music. A myth from ancient China is that pregnant women should avoid using glue or other adhesives as it may cause birthing complications. Also, hammering nails is thought to cause deformity in the fetus. Some pregnant women in the Hispanic or Latino cultures believe that unsatisfactory pregnancy cravings are the cause of birthmarks. In some Jamaican cultures, it is believed that you should have a Bible open in the room where the mother is going to give birth. In some Korean cultures, there is an order of people that must be told that a woman is pregnant. She must first tell the mother-in-law, then she tells her husband, and then her own mother. Balinese pregnant women are told to avoid eating octopus. It is believed that doing so brings difficult deliveries. Some Guatemalan women of Mayan descent are told to stay at home through the entire nine months of their gestation out of fear of exposure to illness or evil spirits. Some pregnant women were also advised not to enter graveyards in Ireland. If they did, their children would be weak and might starve. Also, if a woman twisted her foot on a grave, her baby was thought to be born with a club foot. Some Italians believe that once a woman begins telling people that she's pregnant, she must tell everybody else right away. It is thought that if she doesn't, the baby will never speak, or at least won't speak for a very long time. In Russia, people used to believe that childbirth would be easy if both the mother and her husband revealed the names of all of their previous lovers. In Portugal, some believe that pets, such as dogs and cats, should be kept away from the pregnant woman to avoid having a hairy baby. One ancient belief in the Orkney Islands in northern Scotland is that pregnant women should sleep with knives and the Bible under her bed, both used to ward off evil spirits. In Mongolia, some believe that two pregnant women should never touch one another as it could switch the baby's sex. Regardless, the mysterious nature of childbirth and delivery has always been something shrouded in mystery. By and large, anything that would allow the mother to feel more confident and more comfortable should be used, no matter how crazy it may seem to others around her. Thank you for watching.